This semester, the UWP Chamber Choir has been fortunate enough to get to rehearse for 50 minutes three days a week. For the first 30 minutes, we would rehearse here, and then half of our 24 singers would move to the choral rehearsal room around the corner. We did this so that we could observe COVID protocols. Singers who are masked and 10 feet apart are limited to 30 minutes before giving the space 60 minutes of ventilation space. Because of this unique set of demands, I decided that we would truly be a chamber choir, actually two chamber choirs. It struck me that our senior level choral education students should have the opportunity to teach pieces to these smaller groups so that they could learn how to rehearse and prepare pieces. This is one of the things that makes UWP special for future choral educators, I think. Our students conduct at least one of our five ensembles before leaving to student teach, and this is invaluable experience for them. Keely Liska is a senior instrumental music education major from Richland Center, and her primary instrument is not voice, but saxophone. Nevertheless, she has participated in chamber choir for several semesters and took advanced choral conducting as an elective and excelled in that class. She worked on this piece from beginning to end, teaching notes and rhythms, dynamics, line, form, and subtext. The Urchin's Dance is set to a poem by an unknown author, but it evokes images of the fairies in Shakespeare's A Midnummer, Midsummer Night's Dream. The composer, Stephen Chapman, grew up in Madison and has long been a professor of composition at the University of British Columbia. One of the exciting aspects of this piece is Chapman's use of alternating meters, which gives the impression that the dance is quite energetic and rollicking. Thank you. 